The flight deck of an aircraft is an incredible sight to behold, with planes launching and recovering at a frantic pace. When you think of an aircraft carrier, you probably picture the massive flight deck at the top of the ship, with planes taking off and landing in a carefully choreographed dance. But what about the space below the flight deck? It's part of the ship that most people don't get to see, but it's essential to the carrier's operation. Today, we're going to take a closer look at what's under the flight deck and explore the important systems and equipment that make an aircraft carrier one of the most powerful machines on the planet. So, let's get started. The area under the flight deck at the rear of an aircraft carrier was known as the spud locker, where potatoes were once stored. Pilots used to joke that if they flew too low, they would crash into the pantry. However, on other vessels, this room was actually used as a jet engine shop. Here, engines were overhauled and tested before being moved back out onto the flight deck. At the rear of the carrier, beneath the flight deck, you'll find a labyrinth of passageways, compartments, and equipment rooms. One of the most critical systems located here is the ship's propulsion system, which includes massive turbines and generators that produce the electricity needed to power the carrier's engines and other onboard systems. You'll also find fuel tanks that store thousands of gallons of fuel, which are critical to the carrier's ability to operate for weeks or even months at a time without refueling. The hangar bay is located two decks below the flight deck and is the largest compartment on the aircraft carrier, occupying more than two-thirds of its total length. It's used to store spare jet engines, other heavy equipment, and up to 60 aircraft in fuel tanks. The hangar bay is separated into four zones, with sliding doors that act as a barrier to contain and prevent fire accidents from spreading in case of an emergency. Aircraft are usually transported from the hangar bay to the flight deck by four powerful elevators that can hold two fighter jets each. Behind the hangar and above the steam turrets of the ship lie several squadron-ready rooms, which are small rooms where air crews prepare for mission operations. Ship's small boats are also located in this area and are mainly used by crew members to get to other vessels or deliver mail. The hangars located at the rear of the ship have been designed with safety in mind, providing enough space for aircraft while keeping them safe from possible fire incidents and other external threats. This makes it an invaluable part of any modern aircraft carrier. The Aircraft Intermediate Maintenance Division is an integral part of the aircraft carrier located at the rear of the ship. This division of the aircraft carrier is responsible for repairs, testing, and maintenance of all aircraft equipment and operations. The AIMED contains a series of shops where technicians work on repairing and testing aircraft equipment. The technicians also run engine tests in an open-air environment at the end of the ship to ensure proper functionality. As engines are critical to a successful operation, it's important that they're regularly inspected and tested so that they can perform at their best during the flight. Foreign Object Damage FOD, is a common problem that engineers must be aware of when inspecting engines. FOD occurs when particles or objects get sucked into an engine and then cause harm to either the engine or the aircraft itself. Regular maintenance procedures are coupled with engine inspections based on the number of flight miles accumulated since the last inspection. These inspections are critical as even just one mistake can have catastrophic consequences. Therefore, inspecting and maintaining aircraft engines under the flight deck at the rear ensures that any potential issues can be addressed before takeoff. In addition to engine maintenance areas, there are other parts on board an aircraft carrier such as control rooms, launch operation rooms, and bridge sections that support the overall operations on board an aircraft carrier. Together with AIMED, these departments work together to keep everything running smoothly aboard a successful flight mission. In conclusion, the area under the flight deck at the rear of an aircraft carrier is a complex and critical part of any successful mission. It contains AIMED, which is responsible for repairs, testing, and maintenance of all aircraft equipment as well as squadron-ready rooms where air crews prepare for missions. The hangar bay stores up to 60 aircraft in fuel tanks, while powerful elevators transport them from there to the flight deck. Finally, regular engine inspections are conducted to prevent foreign object damage that can have catastrophic consequences if not addressed before takeoff. All these elements come together to ensure safe and efficient operations aboard an aircraft carrier. 
like and subscribe, and comment down below if you learned something new today. Be sure to press the bell icon for upcoming videos, and as always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.